Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you on Friday, November the 17th, 2023. And this is a day when a lot of things will be capturing your attention or asking for your focus that are more mental than emotional. But what will happen is that if a thought process begins, your emotions will react to it. But all you will get is a sense of irritation and confusion. Like, should I focus on plan A or should I focus on plan B? And there'll be just too much analyzing going on. And some of the more sensitive will feel like I should have gone ahead, but here I am still at, you know, the plan uh, Plan A only left me at this certain particular station of life and I should have gone ahead and sat on that train. All of that is just momentary, but it's clutter. It's all clutter coming up, but it's so overwhelming that you won't know which one to give focus to and where it is that this... Uh, you you can say toxic or emotional or irritation or upset is coming from. Just keep reacting to it and paying attention to it and you realize that it does not work for you anymore. And that is when you realize also that you're always supported, you're never alone. And that the angelic forces and the divine forces and whoever you believe in and your higher self, very much there. All of the instruments of light, all the portals of heaven are waiting to help you and are and are ready to come forth for you on your behalf just at your request remember the angelic forces powerful as they might be never come without your request and understanding and asking for it so it's only when you ask for it will they come forward okay but you're ready why because you're so irritated you want some peace you want to understand how to get ahead in life that I've had it now with plan A and I want plan B now and what is plan B what is the heavenly path what is that best way it actually for those who actually practice um, Akashic records already go ahead and uh, do any form of meditation you can or Reiki and keep on asking for your guardian angels and all the uh, higher forces of light that you believe in especially this day moment to moment to keep guiding you and you will see that even a small decision you make because that's the word of the day decision a small decision you make pays off uh, even if it's like going to work and you decide to take a different route to work rather than the regular road you use or you use a different pencil on your desktop than you usually use It will still give you a sense of empowerment, which is definitely needed this day. Just that self-realization and just, you know, capturing that moment of satisfaction for yourself, which is very hard to come by. It's easier to criticize and to complain than to say that, yes, I'm fine just the way I am. And to find a way to improve that and become better. Being a better version, you can say, of yourself, just as you started yesterday, right? So first of all, look at these three statements and decide which one it is that captures your attention. And if all three do, that's fine. There's no uh, exam going on here. It's, again, you making a decision. So keep on making those decisions. In fact, your crown is getting, you can say, a new activation. So for those who are already into practicing of Reiki energies and attunements, this is the day to ask for a new attunement, a new form of attunement, a new way to see and perceive. First of all, the environment around you, your physical body, the activities you're engaging in, how you're speaking. When people speak to you, you might even notice how you perceive the conversation. Are you really there or is your mind still wandering all over the place? It might change the way you actually converse with people and the way that you express yourself and your words, the language you use even. Go ahead and capture the the analysis of that. And if you don't like something or some part of what it is that you already engage with, go ahead and dissipate it or change it. 
This is the time to do that. That's why you've been given this this power to do that. And of course, for those who have Reiki energies, go ahead and use the power of Reiki and universal forces to create a special attunement, a bubble of light around yourself and keep on modifying it throughout the day. Or just say that, Archangel Jophiel, help me create a bubble of light that will help me to truly see my world as beautiful. Whatever you define as beauty. Again, there is no dictionary definition being asked here. It's asking you to just look at that beautiful image. See that golden glow behind her. Ask for that golden glow now to pour down all over you. And this time you're not taking the three rays at once. Slowly absorbing it into your chakras, into your thoughts, into your feelings, into your emotional space, your heart, how you interact with others, the cords you have with others, your room, your activities, whatever comes to your mind and focus right now. Even if it's emotional and a feeling, go ahead and focus on that first. Golden Glow Go To. And take a moment to let the glow just, whether it has to flow out of you, whether it has to remain within you and enhance the energy of your body or your room. Take a moment to let the golden glow move around. And some might even notice, if you're very sensitive again, already attuning to or visualizing matter as energy, as colors. This time you might even feel a clockwise or anti-clockwise movement of this golden light. Now you might say, isn't anti-clockwise supposed to be bad? No, it's not bad in this case. It's releasing all the old, saying, just let go. Why are you carrying this baggage around, Divine One? You're so beautiful. Remember, Archangel Jophiel helps you enhance the capacity to perceive beauty and to bring beauty into your life, to create beautiful events, moments, thoughts, interactions. So if it goes anti-clockwise, it's already telling you, we're ready to clear it for you. And if it's clockwise, of course, it's enhancing your power of creation, of manifesting, of making your wishes come true. It's all going in your favor, dear one, because see all the doves, they're so excited to just come out of that cage and go into the universe. We are ready for you. That cage is your mind. That cage is your spirit. That cage is your body. That cage is your life. The problems and challenges you currently have, all of those are just that, a cage, which can be unlocked, changed, moved around, and left behind. There's no problem for them to come out of that, right? Be excited about that. Just look at that for a moment. Maybe give yourself a chance to analyze what it is that you feel is holding you back or who or what or what it is that you're focused on where you think you're going to fail why you think you're going to fail challenges you're bringing from the past and saying that I never succeeded in such and such project so it's going to go incorrect or wrong again leave all that thinking behind right now you are just a blank slate that is being filled with the rainbow rays, literally. And that is where the second rays of light now come towards you. And these are the magenta rays of confidence, success, manifestation, wishes, clarity, everything basically of life. Living in every way. You decide what you want to again enhance. Archangel Jophiel, help me invite this magenta ray of creation for 
keep on doing this throughout the day it doesn't have to be just in this one moment cuz this cage is ready to be open now you have to set yourself free you have to decide to change that's why decision is being given into your hands you're not being told you're not being forced you're not being victimized and god is not using you as a machine but as a child honored and precious and loved see the sky behind you all darkness is just going away every time you feel that even 1% of what you're doing is going wrong or you don't understand it or it's too esoteric or it's too difficult for me only very intelligent people get this or educated people get this none of that is true it's all light it's coming towards you see the buildings behind you those are your buildings of the divine structures supporting you the divine ones supporting you all of the universal elements supporting you earth air water fire all of the spiritual team and the angelic forces the unicorns the ascended masters all of the divine mothers present as goddesses and of course the elements the fae were right there with you as flowers right here even they cannot wait to help you it's like all of heaven is saying just ask we're here don't hold back that's exactly also one of the statements here release yourself from that which holds you back what is your need today to detoxify why do you carry garbage around negativity the old the forlorn the lost the dark it's unnecessary and that's exactly another one of the statements unnecessary worry based on a lack of self confidence what is she doing she's just holding that cage so if you call upon archangel jophiel she will go to work for you right away what is it that you want me to help you perceive create bring nullify heal bring forward express let go of you decide and i will help you all all you have to do literally is even if you don't want to do some complicated prayer or invocation you're like i'm too tired for that or you're in work routine or daily routine or having to take care of home as you go around whenever fatigue or boredom even or or just this sense of pessimism comes up that i just don't even want to try anymore that's exactly when you look at her and say i surrender all of this to you forget it i don't want to deal with it anymore don't deal with it anymore not alone because she's got both her wings up one set of wings is clearing your past helping you make peace with all of your memories so they're precious and filled with love for you and the right wing is sending all that you desire and all that you hope to have and all all that you hope to be into your space of now what does that mean basically it's not there 20 years from now it's here literally 20 heartbeats from now that close that much in creativity and intangible reality you just act as if it's already there remember the as if formula apply that now you might say of course your logic will come up but you don't have this and you don't have that go ahead and remove that and see why you don't have that let us just give a simple example of a painting when you sit down to do a painting what do you need a canvas paints of course and a paint brush and an idea of what it is that you want to paint and then you start moving your hand around but you put all of that on a onto a table or something and get comfortable right or you're using a digital format whatever it is 
but at least you have an intention. So go ahead and use all those beautiful law of attraction principles and actually put them into application this day. What is it that I wish for? What is it that I intend? What is it that I have to put together to bring it forward, to bring it into tangible reality? And how do I work with the angelic forces and all the divine ones? What prayers do I have to do? It's not that difficult as it sounds. Once you get into it, the urgency of reali- wanting to realize it will move you forward. You'll be so excited about it. Nothing will stop you. No one will stop you. Even your own, I can't do this and this will not happen. Your ego, just keep on looking at her, looking at one of these doves and surrender it. Blessed dove of. Take my worry and literally transform it into light. See the statement here and go back to that again. None of your worries are actually real. You might say, but oh, but don't I have karma? And don't I have negative destiny written out for me? Even that can still be crossed. It's because you think you're not good enough or you've done something so heinous that God has just given up on you and that's it. You're going to just be thrown into some space or some cave and never seen again. That's not true. So take that thought out. Take a moment now to see where you are in your connection actually with the Divine Ones, with your Guardian Angels, with God, with all of your spiritual team. Why am I telling you to look at the image that usually produces an instrument? To see your perception, where it is that your mind is sitting and how you're actually thinking right now. So where does it go? To the greenery, to the flowers, to the birds, to the darkness or the darkness that's leaving. Now I'm not going to tell you a generalization or generalized explanation that's not fair to you you decide why it is that your mind and your eyes took you to that space say you go and look at the crown above her that is so so much in the glowing state of mind right she's glowing with the light literally shining why do I see that but I don't feel it I don't feel it within me that means that it's exactly where you're blocked and that's what you have to bring forward maybe your eyes go to the doves oh that's nice that means I think of myself as being at peace but still I don't feel peaceful then you're getting a way forward to bring more of the sense of peace and balance into your life. See how the instruments are helping you this day? To make the decision. Making decisions now will become easier and easier. First of all, you decide what you're deciding, your intention. Then you decide who's going to help you with this. Then you decide on how you're going to receive the divine guidance. Then you decide on how you're going to apply the divine guidance. And then you take one step, even if, even if it is one step today, as a tangible sign in your tangible reality that I am going to go forward. I'm not going to give up. And see the number 15, 5 and 1, 6, again telling you balance. Balance is coming in every way. So once again, we go back to the statements. Release yourself from that which holds you back with an exclamation mark, saying that just let go. Don't worry. You will not make a mistake. Just try and keep on trying. You just need to remove all that you're holding. You're literally bubbling with junk. 
Don't carry that anymore. Unnecessary worry. And it's just because you don't trust in yourself and you don't think that you're worth it. Yes, you are. So let go of that thought of yourself. See yourself as Archangel Jophiel sees you. Ask upon her and keep on asking upon her because remember, powerful as she is, she will not come forward without your asking. That's how much power you have. See how amazing you are, how important you are to heaven. And so many beautiful doves are floating into the heavenly spaces because of you, to set you free, to help you glow, to help you realize, and to help you be happy. Because that is what you deserve ultimately. There's no other state of mind or body or emotion for you. Claim that today and happily claim it. And this comes to you so beautifully from the Archangel Power Tarot Cards given to you by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And Radley can be reached at capital R-A-D-L-E-I-G-H capital V-A-L-E-N-T-I-N-E dot com. And the superb artwork that just brings this glowing light into your heart and then into your space and into your life in every way. And so simply and so grandly, in such a grand manner, you can say, graciously and powerfully, is given to you through the art of Jeff Bedrick. And Jeff can be reached at B-E-D-R-I-C-K-S-T-U-D-I-O-S dot com. So enjoy, decide, free yourself, and be happy. Start smiling, already knowing that. And this is Tina, signing off for now. Bye-bye.